Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use our percent bars as models to, uh, to solve some problems. Uh, we're going to look at three different problems, so this video is going to be a little bit long. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is um, a number is something percent of a different number. The second model we're going to look at, the second time we're going to look at it, it's uh, a percent of a number is this number. And the third one we're going to look at is the easiest one is what is a percent of this simple number. Actually, let's just start with that one because it's the easiest. So if, if I ask you the question, um, how much is 70% of, let's say, 60? Okay, so to find this one, all I need to do is I'm going to set up my percent bar. With my percent bar, I know that if I start at 0%, 0%, then, well, I'm going to have 0 of that number. And I know I can also have 100%. Well, in this one here, I want to know what is a part, because 70% is not the whole yet. 100% is a whole. 100% is the whole. So I want to know what is the part of the whole. Okay. So I know that the whole is 60. And I need to find out, well, what is 70%? Well, in order to figure that out, I can't go from 100 down to 70, so I can use some friendly numbers. I can scale all the way down, scale all the way down to 10%. I can do that by dividing by 10. If I divide by 10 by the bottom, I can divide the top by 10, which would give me 6. 60 divided by 10 is 6. And then from 10%, I can scale it up to 70% by multiplying it by uh, 7. Multiply by 7. If I multiply the bottom by 7, I have to multiply the top by 7. That's going to give me 42. So what is 70% of 60? 70% 70 of 60 is simply just 42. Okay? And it's just like that. The second one we're going to look at. The second one, um, let's do 60% of a number is 19. Okay? Let's, let's do that one. So um, yeah, let's just flip this over. Let's pretend 60% of a number, let's just say a, a number is 90, okay? So in this one, this is really, really important to understand what our vocabulary here says. This one says that 60% is 90, or it means that 60%, sorry, 60% uh, of something, so 60% of my whole is the same as 90. So I can confidently say that 60% is 90. And I want to know, well, what is the 100%? What is the whole thing? Well, let's set this up in my, my bar model. If I set it up here in my percent bar model, I can set my 0 and 0. We know that. I can set my 100, which is way over here, 100%. But do I know my 100%? No, this is my missing value. I do know, though, that 60% of this number is actually 90. Okay, And then from here, it's just the same. Scale down, scale up. Well, what can I do? Hmm, let's see. Um, can 60 get to 100? Nope, no can do. Uh, I could scale down to scale up, but scale down to what? Let's see. Um, I'm going to be using my GCF or my factors so I can scale both these down. I know that these both can be divided by 3. Okay, so if I divide this by 3 and that by 3, I'm going to get down to 20%, and this is going to be 30. From 20%, I can now scale this up to 100 by multiplying by 5. Therefore, this one multiplied by 5, and I had 150. And so my 100% is actually 150. And let's see if this actually makes sense. Um, if I look for half of my whole, half of my whole, which is half to 150, is about, well, that's, that's 75. And so a little bit more will be a little bit more. And so I can fairly say, confidently say that, yeah, that must be the right answer. Let's look at the last one, the last type of bar model. Uh, oops, I bled through a little bit here. The last one is, I, I think, the trickiest one. I'll actually just get a whole new sheet for us. Um, th this one is the trickiest because it's hard to know where to place uh, my missing value. So in this one with the missing value, I have to first understand the question, understand the situation. Let's pretend I have 24 of a unknown percent. So, uh, sorry, 
rephrase that. 24 is um, an unknown is what percent, what percent of 80. Okay. So in this one, I can say, well, 24 is an unknown percent. So that means my unknown percent is 24. Now, because a percent is a part of a whole, so this unknown percent is something of 80, which is going to tell me that my 100% is 80. And let's place that into our percent bar. Again, I have my 0 and 0 at the bottom, and I have my 100% at the top. Well, I know the 100% is 80. It goes up here. And I have to have, well, what percent is 24? Well, I can kind of, I can kind of make an estimation. I can say 50%, well, 50%, that's half, so it's going to be about 40. And then I can scale that down. Well, if I cut that in half again, I can go down to 20%, and that's going to be about, well, half of 50, so it's going to be about 25%. So since this is a little bit more than 20, I can say that, let's, let's guesstimate. Let's say it's going to be around 30%. All right, let's actually figure this out, though. I need to be able to scale this 80 down to something to scale it back up to 24. And that's the hard part. So let's think about this. I can scale down to 40. That's going to be 50%. I can scale this down again. Let's scale it down to, um, let's scale it down all the way down to 4. And 4 is going to be 5% because I just divide by 10, divide by 10. And what do I know about 4? I know I can do 4 times 6 to get to 24. Therefore, down here, I'm going to have to do 5 times 6. And oh my goodness, look at that. 5 times 6 is 30. And what was my estimate? 30%. So here we go. 24 is what percent of 80? Well, 24 is actually 30% of 80. And if we go back to our model here, we know half is 40. Half of a half is a quarter which would be over here. So 20 is about 25, so a little bit more is going to be a little bit more. And there we have it. Uh, sorry for a little bit longer video. This here is just using our bar, uh, our percent bar to scale down, scale up, to find my three different types of uh, questions here. Uh, join me in the next one where I'm going to be joining some multiplicative and additive thinking in order to find some more difficult percentages. I'll see you then.